them things for you Hustle with them dealers when it's time to get that bling for you Knock it out the ring for you Oh, shorty, oh, 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 oh. Hey you guys, so what's up? It's your girl Ashley again from Ashleyism. And today we're gonna talk about my social media detox that I took in the month of September. And um this social media detox, it was more so just me being absent off of Instagram. I had deleted the app, uh, took it away. I was a little bit still informed on what was taking place and like pop culture quote unquote (laughs) and stuff because I frequent the app of YouTube so with that being said um that break that I took from Instagram really gave me the opportunity to realize that I waste a lot of time when I'm on that app and with that being said I noticed that Instagram really used to piss me off. Like, I don't know what it was. I don't know. I think it's the people that I follow. Like, I'm just going to be frank with it. I believe it's what it is that I follow, what I was indulging in. Um, The thing about Instagram, what to me, which is different from being on an app like YouTube, with Instagram, it's a lot of, like, pop-ups. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's it's sporadic like yes you're gonna see the typical people that you interact with on a daily basis or that you engage with on a daily basis on the app so you're gonna see them a lot more on your feed um but it's also some people that you probably used to interact with in the past and then they would just pop up or just certain things it just was I, I can't even describe to you the things that I used to see on there you know like it's just I just started to get overwhelmed and drained just by scrolling because if you think about it when you really sit down and you think about the amount of content and the amount of images that we see on a day-to-day basis simply just being on these social media sites it's a lot of images that we see that we take in you know sometimes you might internalize whatever it is that you're you're seeing on these apps you know um they might fester on your brain you might see a comment that someone left on someone else's post and then it's just it's just one big cluster okay and I just I just had enough and I was just like oh I just need to take a break from this because I, I started to realize and notice my habits like I would wake up just go straight to Instagram to see like what what was up you know what I'm saying and it's not even like I'm posting anything so it's not like I'm checking any notifications for myself but it's like oh yeah let me see what everybody's doing and, da, 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 da. and to be quite honest I'm not even really connected to these people that I'm with on Instagram if it's not my immediate family or you know a couple of homegirls homeboys or whatever and even that like I like I really haven't been in contact with people for me to be so invested to see what is going on you get what I'm saying like I don't know if you're picking up what I'm putting down but it just was it was ridiculous you know and I started to realize that then I noticed that I would be sitting down and I'm on the app and I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling it's like girl what you scrolling for what you looking for what are you looking for (laughs) there is nothing on this app like there's nothing here for you then it was oh you know everybody's posting these um what's the what's the word encouragement post and this then then it's like do you believe it do you believe what you're posting like (laughs) so it was that then it was you know the I don't know certain stuff just like I'll just be looking at it and I don't know if this is just something within me but a lot of stuff sometimes don't be seeming genuine it don't seem genuine from these people and I'm just like I don't want to see this shit no more then it was like you know the optics of certain things like with celebrities doing problematic things or just making problematic statements then it was the colorism the texturism the featureism then it's the passes that some people have the politics of what's going on in the world and da 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 all that you see what i'm saying like that sounds like a lot right that sounds like a lot so with that being said (laughs) 
I was just like, yo, I got to take a break. I got to take a break. It, it is nothing here for me. I'm not really making any money off this right now. And that's really where it's at with me. And even outside of making money with it, I feel like if I was posting something, I need to post with intention. You know, that's just where my heart is at right now. And anything that I'm doing, I want it to be with intention. I want it to be where, you know, somebody gains something from it. Granted, you know, not everything got to be deep and da 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 That's probably my Pisces rising right now inside of me and shit. But I just wanted it to be, I just wanted something inspirational. You know what I'm saying? And I really wasn't getting that. It's just very fickle. A lot of things on Instagram is fickle, you know. You see something for five seconds. It's probably even less than five seconds. It's a millisecond. People don't even read captions anymore. But, um, yeah. So that's that on that. And then, um, so what else I want to talk to you guys about the detox? Oh, yeah. So I realized how much time I was wasting on it. So then I started to become a little bit more productive at things. Um, gathered my thoughts. You know, right now I'm, I'm recording this right now. I could be scrolling on Instagram, but I want to be recording this and, you know, documenting what I noticed in that time frame when I was off of it. Um, I was able to learn other things. I was able to take, take more time and invest it in myself as far as, you know, just certain things like my things that make me happy that cater to my femininity. Let's put it that way. So, um, you know, taking care of like my appearance or, you know, anything that I needed to do or, you know, if I, if it was to clean or to cook or, you know, listen to some music or anything like that, it's just Instagram was taken away from that, you know, just the mindless scrolling took away from me catering to me, you know, and, um, also another thing when I noticed with it, it's, um, it's all about connections as well to what I noticed with Instagram and the fact that, when you're out of sight, that's that statement, out of sight, out of mind, it, it's true. Because if people don't have you in their focus, and you know, because everybody got their own shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got their own life. Everybody got things that they got to take care of and stuff like that. But if you are not in the forefront of some people's minds, just realize that you don't give a fuck. Because I could tell you off the, like, I could count off my hand who hit me up while I wasn't present, you know what I'm saying, and that's just how it is, that's just how people work, so, girl, and guy, whoever's listening, dog, cat, duck, (laughs) no, 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 um, yeah, just, what I want to say, to end this off, try a social media detox, and see how you feel when you come back, because when you take that that time away, because they always say it takes about 21 days to start a habit. So if you take 21 days and then you add the next nine, nine days or 10 days and make it a month, you'll see. You're going to come back and you're going to realize everything is still the same that you, you left off at. It's still the same. And you probably might not even care to engage in it anymore. You probably won't because it's just like, okay. That's where I'm at with it now. Like, I will go on there. I'll probably post something here or there. And I'm going to post this, obviously, a little preview or whatever. But I noticed that it, it doesn't do anything for me anymore. It's just like when I had Snapchat. I was always on Snapchat all the time, posting everything, oversharing and how I feel now. I was oversharing stuff, my personality, all that stuff. And now it's just I don't even have the app on my phone anymore because it's just what what is it doing for me? nothing mindless scrolling mindless connections no one gives a a shit them (laughs) and that's just that on that so i encourage you all to just take a social media detox and get your mind right cleanse it do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel happy you know don't try not to ingest so much of the toxicity that comes from social media if you got to make some money off of social media like go ahead like do what you got to do but try to just you know limit your time on it and you'll see how much more productive you are so that's that on that and i'll talk to you guys later bye